So, Psalm 16, the verses number one. We are going back to that is our main text, Psalm 16, the verses number one. And then we'll come back to Psalm 51. Hallelujah. And then we'll do Psalm 3, Psalm 30. I beg your pardon, Psalm 30, and also Psalm 51, and Psalm 16. In this church, we give first place to the word of God. So please just stand for the reading of God's word. But please, anything we are doing here today, add your spirit, add your soul, and above all, add faith. You can never prosper without faith. You can never be healed without faith. You can never see the hand of God without faith. You can never have victory without faith. The Bible said that faith comes by hearing, by hearing, and also understanding God's word. The Bible said that show me your faith, and I'll show you by my works. And the Bible said that faith without works is dead. Am I talking to somebody at all? So ladies and gentlemen, we act by faith. We speak by faith. Anything we are doing is by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. What is faith telling you? Faith is telling you that between now up to 6 p.m., your miracle money will be released. Faith is telling you and anybody that also have faith, shout amen. Hallelujah. And uh, amen means let it be. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So when you come to church or when you come here, you will say amen 100 times or 500 times before we close the service. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. So faith is very important. Faith is very important. What is faith telling you? That is another time. But Psalm 16, the verse is number 4. Let's listen to the reading of God's word. Psalm 16, the verse number 1. The verse is number 1, yes. Preserve me, O God, mm. for in thee I put my trust. Let's pray. Eternal Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for the clearance of thought that take this clear body and replace it somewhere so that nations and men and women across the nations of the world, mighty God will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody sit down in heavenly places. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the Bible said in Psalm 16 the verses number one the Bible said that preserve me all Lord. And people God have to preserve us the year 2020. God have to preserve you between now up to November ending. Today is 25th November 2020. And ladies and gentlemen, somebody died. Somebody have given birth. Somebody just received a promotion. Somebody just received a million dollars. Somebody just received a new car. Somebody just received a new land. Somebody just received a new house. But ladies and gentlemen, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that may the year 2020 be a year that ladies and gentlemen, you are going to experience the favor of God. You are going to experience the grace of God. You are going to experience the healing power of God. I pray that may the year 2020 be a year that ladies and gentlemen, the storm and the crisis and the pain will be over. The calamity will be over. The disaster will be over. I pray that may the year 2020 be a year that when people are rejected, you will be accepted. When people are rejected, you will be tolerated. When people are rejected, those will begin to open for you. I came here by the mandate of God to tell a man, to tell a woman that get ready, that preserve me, oh Lord. Preserve my husband. Preserve my wife. Preserve my future. Preserve my children. Preserve this ministry. 